Before that, though, uh, UKIP has a new leader elected today, announced this afternoon. He is Richard Brain, and he joins us now. Hello, Richard. Hello, Clive. Thank you very much for having me on. Well, well done on your win. Thank you very uh, much. Quite a substantial march. And why do you think that was? Why have you won? Uh, well, I think there's, there's several reasons, but it was a, a very uh, good contest, and the other candidates were excellent, and uh, I get on with them well. And uh, UKIP is actually one of the most united parties because we all agree so thoroughly about uh, Brexit and finally actually getting out of the European Union. Are you that united? Uh, why isn't Gerard Batten carrying on as leader then? Uh, well, as you may know, he was uh, he was stopped from standing by the NEC, which is an elected body in the party, uh, and they have the power to do that. Well, that's not very united, is it? Uh, well, I don't know about that. They they had various well, reasons for the last leader from becoming leader again. It, well, well they, they had various reasons for making that decision. And what were they? Uh, well, they've they've actually given several reasons, um, but. Um, Gerard, don't forget, said that he would uh, he would uh, become interim leader of the party for a year, and he did a great job. He took the membership from uh, eighty thousand up to um, about nearly very nearly thirty thousand. Uh, and he's very popular. He was a very popular uh, leader, but um, the NEC decided that popular enough to carry on. Uh, well, he's sixty six, so um, I think that he's you know he's put twenty seven years into the he party. Didn't want to retire there. Uh, he did actually. Really. Yeah, he wasn't Ger allowed to stand. Ger Ger Gerard is someone standing down. Ger Gerard is someone who's motivated by duty, uh, uh, as uh, as I think many people in UKIP are, and uh, he stood for the party in 2018 uh, as a matter of duty uh, because uh, he thought that the job of leaving the European Union wasn't done yet, as we can see, we're still in it, uh, and he felt that the party needed to carry on. And he put himself forward for that reason, out of a very strong yeah. sense of duty, because UKIP is the party that actually brought that referendum, actually delivered the result of it. And we are the, we are the, the true original party of Brexit that have been fighting for it for 27 years. Uh, but clearly, people were worried about the direction in which Gerald Batten was taking the party more to the, to the far right, with, uh, involving Toby Robinson and so on. Uh, is that a direction you're going to follow? Uh, well, I don't think that uh, Tommy Robin Robinson is involved. He can't join the party because of the party's rules. Uh, he's never been a member of the party. So um, I don't think that's, that's really a big issue. You know, we, we in the party want to concentrate on the important questions. And, you know, Brexit is one of them. Immigration is another. But we've got a fantastic manifesto. And I advise people to go and read it. Find it at ukip.org and go and read the manifesto, because I think a lot of people listen to the press saying that we're far right. But if they read the manifesto, they'll realize that that's a load of absolute nonsense. Uh, where is the party realistically standing now? I mean, we've had a recent by-election, and you were beaten by the uh, monster-raving loony party. I mean, really, it's all over for UKIP, isn't it? Well, I don't think it is. UKIP, don't forget, uh, bumbled along on a percent or two of the vote for many years before, in 2010, starting to get some real traction. And then actually, in 2013, doing very well in locals and bringing about this, this wonderful referendum that has... Uh, you know, has lit up British politics. In fact, internationally, it's it's made uh, it's had a tremendous influence. So UKIP's been enormously successful, and um, that can happen again. Uh, so Brecon is a, an, a constituency where we've never really done very well. And if you look at the results back before 2015, you'll see that uh, that result was nothing unusual. Uh, so I don't think it signifies very much. And I think that UKIP can start to gain vote share again in the future by concentrating on our manifesto and our policies. Uh, and if people are allowed to hear about our policies instead of uh, the the press just saying, oh, you're far right, which is which is just a, a sort of slur, really. It doesn't mean anything at all anymore. Um, so I think if people are allowed, I think people will start voting for us again. Um, and especially if Brexit isn't delivered, people will. But also don't forget that if Brexit is delivered, the Brexit party will in some ways become obsolete. But one thing that's for sure is that the people who want us to remain in the EU will now will then start to campaign to take us back in. And UKIP will still be there fighting for British independence, campaigning for British independence, and making sure that the fantastic referendum result of 2016 is actually honoured by our disgraceful establishment that's trying to stop it happening. But isn't that what the Brexit party is doing? And effectively, they've replaced you, haven't they? Uh, well, I don't know about replacing us. They don't have a, a manifesto of, uh, you know, a broad range of policies as we have. And they don't have a 27-year track record of fighting for no. Brexit. They don't have members who can vote for candidates or for uh, their leader. 
So uh, the Brexit party is really the fiefdom of one man uh, who decides yeah. who the candidates are. But they're and more popular than UKIP. Well, for the time being, they are. But I don't think that, uh, that that will necessarily continue. I think that will change with time. Uh, you know, these things come and go. Meteor- don't forget that um, UKIP had a pretty meteoric rise in 2010 to 2015. Uh, and I think that could easily happen again uh, because people know what UKIP stands for, because we are the party that told the truth about membership of the European Union and talk, actually said the unsayable things. Uh, which is what we do. We talk about the things that people, the other parties don't dare to talk about. Okay, well, thank you very much. Again, congratulations. Thank you, Richard. Very much appreciated. Thanks a lot. Thank do you. you uh, do come back. Thank you very much. I love to. Thank, thank you. Sir. Bye-bye. Great. Bye.